In this video, we are going to see how to adjust a worksheet. Let's see those one by one. Very first thing you see, there's an inserting and deleting cells. Let's see how to insert a cell. So I'll keep my cursor in one cell. Let's say I've kept my cursor in Wednesday. Right click on the cell. When you right click on the cell, you'll get loads of options. From there, I'll select the option as insert. The moment I click on insert, I'll get a dialog box. In that dialog box, it will ask you four options. Do you want to shift the cells down or do you want to shift the cells right? So I'll select the first option. Let's say I'll shift the cells right. And the moment I click on OK, all the cells will be shifted to right and there will be a gap in between. So I'll click on OK. So you see there's a gap in between and the cells are shifted right. One more in this, if I want to shift the cells down, this if I keep my cursor here and if I right click on this option and then I go for the insert cells, insert. And now I'll start the second option that is shift cells down. The moment I click on OK, all the cells will be shifted down and there will be a gap in this place. A new cell will be inserted. So I'll click on OK and you see there's a cell inserted. Now I'll go for the vice versa, the other way. So I'll go for deleting a cell. Similarly, I'll just keep my cursor here, right click on the option and then I'll go for selecting the delete option here. When I click on delete, the same options will be repeated but in the other language it says do you want to shift the cells left or do you want to shift the cells up or entire row entire column so right now for this cell i'll say as shift cells left so this cell which i've inserted in previous one so that will be deleted now so i'll click on ok see it's deleted another example again so i'll keep my cursor here right click on the screen and i'll click on delete option so once i click on delete now I'll use the second option, shift cells up. So once I click on OK, all the cells will be shifted up and the cell will be deleted itself. Now there are two more options available. Let's try those all. So I'll right click on this option and you see there's an insert option. So once I click on insert, the remaining two options are insert entire row. So there will be an entire, sorry, there will be an entire row which will be inserted. So this row will be shifted down. So once I click on this option and I click on OK. So entire row will be inserted, which is a blank. When I select this option and I select insert and the fourth one, if you see insert entire column. Earlier there was a row inserted, but now there will be a column inserted. So I'll select the fourth option. The column will be inserted and this column will be shifted to right. That's all. So if I if I've inserted now I'll go for deleting the cells same way I'll keep my cursor here select the option as delete entire row so it is asking me to delete the entire row so this row will be deleted I'll click on OK similarly if I select this option right click on this option and I say as delete now I want to delete the entire column so this column will be deleted and this will be shifted on the left hand side selected entire column and OK. So that's how you can play with inserting cells and deleting cells. Next, let's see how to insert and delete rows. Let's see those one by one. If I want to insert a row above the fourth row, that is inserting and deleting columns. If I want to insert a row about this one, how do I do that? I'll just right click on the number four, that is the column, that is the row heading. Right click on this option and you can see as insert. The moment I click on insert, a row will be inserted above the selected row. So I'll click on insert, you see that. But this method you can add one row at a time. How about if you want to add three rows? So if you want to add three rows, you have to select three rows first. So I'll select this three rows like this. Right click on the rows and then I'll click on insert. So I've selected three rows. Now the three empty rows will be added above these three rows. So I'll click on insert and you see there are three more empty rows which I added. So this was how do you add rows or row. Secondly, if you want to delete, it's the same method. So I'll, if I want to delete the three rows, I'll select this three empty rows, right click on this option and I'll click on delete. And when I click on delete, the selected rows will be deleted. This was deleting three rows. How about deleting one row? So I'll just right click on one row. First I'll select the entire row, right click and I'll click on delete. So once I click on delete, the entire row gets deleted. So this method you can delete row or rows, insert row or rows. Next we have, how do we insert or delete column or columns? Similarly, how we have inserted and deleted rows, we'll do for the columns. 
So I'll select one column. Let's say I've selected one column as D and I'll right click on that option. So once I right click on this place and I, I can click on insert, the moment I click on insert, this column will be shifted on the right hand side and the empty column will be inserted. So I'll click on insert and a column is inserted. If I want to add two columns, I'll select two columns and then I'll click on insert option. So I'll select this two columns which are empty or non-empty, doesn't matter. Then right click on this option and you can click on insert. Once you click on insert, two empty row columns will be added. Similarly, if you want to delete the columns, same method. So I'll select this four empty columns, right click on this column heading and I'll click on delete. So once I click on delete, all the columns will be deleted which I've selected. So this way you can insert or delete column or columns in this, in this video. Next we have, how do we resize a column and a row size? There are shortcut and long cut methods also. I'll go, first we go with the shortcut method. If you keep your cursor, suppose this is the C column, I want to increase the width of this column. So how do I do that? When you have a mouse, you can just keep your cursor between two column headings that is C and D and till you get this kind of sign, you have to keep your cursor there and then click and drag. Expand till you want the width of the column. Minimize till you want the width of the column. So this way you can increase or decrease the width of the column. But sometimes when you don't have a mouse, that time you have to go to the tabs and find out the option. How do you go there? So you see in the home tab on the right hand side, you see there's an option as format. And here if you see there's a column width, the third option which is a column width. So I'll click on this column width. Now in this column width, they'll ask you the uh, size of the column. Right now it is saying as column width is 8.43. Now I'll delete and I'll say as I want 20.4. So column E will be shifted from 8.43 to 20.4. So I'll delete 20.4 and the moment I press enter that is OK. So the size increases. Similarly, if you want to decrease the width of the column, same method. So you can go to this format in the home tab, then you can click on this column width. And now I don't want 20.4, I just want as 4 and I'll click on OK. So this column width has become as 4. Similarly, I've increased and decreased the column width. I can go for the same for row height. How do I go? I'll go to the home tab, format and you see the very first option which is given here as row height. So in this row height, it will change the row height of that row which my cursor is present. So my cursor is present in row number 3. So now the height of this row is 18. So I'll delete and make it as 28 and I'll click on OK. So the column, the row height will increase to 28 this way. Similarly, if you want to decrease, the same method is available. But Sometimes we need to work it very faster. That time we cannot keep on going to the menu bars or tabs and keep on shifting the data. So I'll give you a shortcut method. Just keep your cursor between the row headings and then you can expand or minimize that. So you can expand or you can minimize it. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you, you see there are unwanted gap between the rows. So that time you can ask them to auto fit. What does auto fit says is whatever amount of text is present according to th that text you have to make, uh, make your size of row height. So let's see how to adjust the row height. So, so I'll just select this rows and keep my cursor between the row headings and double click. So I'll select the rows, keep my cursor between the row headings this way and the, I'll just double click. The moment I double click all the row heights will be auto fit. So I'll du just double click here. This is auto fit. So I don't have to go back and again resize it. Similarly, for the column adjustment. So if I've increased the size of the column and I know this column does not take this much size. Also this column C does not take this much size. So I can just reduce it. How do I reduce it? I'll select the columns A, B and C. Keep my cursor between any of the column headings like this and I'll just double click. The moment I double click, the column width will be auto fit. This is the shortcut method. The long cut method you can go. So I'll just first expand all of them. If you want a long cut method, similarly, I'll select this all the columns heading and then I'll go to format and you see there's an option as auto fit column width. 
So the moment I click, it does the same option. But using a mouse will be easier because you don't have to go to the tabs and find out the option. So auto fit call of it. Now you can see all these options are auto fit here itself. So that's all in this video we have seen how do we adjust a worksheet. That's all.